welcome to Dinner Day Ray with me, your girl Ray Ray. Hey, hi, how's it going? How you doing? I hope you are doing well. Today's cupcake adventures. I feel like that's what I'm gonna like name this like every time I make a cake or a cupcake. Today's cake adventures. Today's cupcake adventures. So today's cupcake adventures, I'm going to be making some psychedelic super cool neon tie-dye cupcake toppers. I'm going to attempt. Now, there was a couple years ago on my channel, there's a video somewhere. If I can find it, I'll link it. You don't have to watch it because I'm sure it's cringy. I tried different tie-dye techniques on fondant. Um, I don't remember what the verdict was because like, I think it was like in 2018 or maybe 2017 because I even did it with piping gel. I did it. I know I remember distinctively the piping gel, but I don't remember any other <laughs> techniques that I used. So that's what I'm going to be trying to do today. Um, what, except for this time, I have grown <laughs> since then. I'm going to be using, I'm gonna do two different ways. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna be using my, all my uh, edible or food color markers or food dye markers. Um, I have a bunch of edible markers. It's so funny, because every time I say edible markers, I feel like, oh, I can eat these, you know, but you can't. Um, but I'm gonna be using these. And these are my new ones I used. And I think I used these in my New Year cupcakes when I made the clock just so I can see the colors. They're such a fine tip, they're really nice. So I think if I just color like the tie-dye um, spiral, um, and then maybe if I took just a little, 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 little bit of vodka, um, cause this is what I usually like to use is the new Amsterdam vodka. Um, maybe I can like make it spread a little bit, like just take a brush and just kind of like maybe stiffle it a little bit and like go around it and kind of make it bleed into one another maybe. I'm gonna try. Um, I'm gonna, I'm only making six cupcake toppers, but I may cut out extra just in case I, I do a goof. So um, yeah, we're gonna see how that goes. And then I was on Amazon as per usual. <sighs> okay, you guys, so <laughs> I was looking up, I think I was looking up uh, something. I think I was looking up more neon food coloring because some of my older ones, I need to replace my food colorings because some of them have dried up and I have just recently like, cleaned out and got rid of a lot of them. But then this popped up. These little bad boys, this is from... Oh Sweet Art, here is the name. Oh Sweet Art, these were on Amazon. These are food safe edible neon food color powder. I was like, what? It had amazing reviews. Some of the cakes that were made with these that were in the pictures in the ratings were phenomenal. And I was like, what? <laughs> and um, they're fluorescent, neon, luminous, eight color of petal dust. There's four grams per container. Now, these were a little pricey, um, but they also glow with UV light. So if you take a black light, they do glow. They say the only two colors that don't really glow are the purple and the blue, but that's to be expected because that's usually with most, like I have like UV light makeup and the purple and the blue are the two that don't shine, but the rest of the colors do. Um, but some of the cakes that I saw in the reviews, I was like, holy Toledo, like they look so cool. So I will put the link for these down in the description box. Um, I think this was $30 for, how many is here? Six, seven, eight, there's eight colors in here. Um, but it was $30, we're gonna see how these work. Um, I'm excited <laughs> to play with these, so we'll see. Um, so I, like I said, I will put the link down in the description below, so we'll see. And then they also, I did order the disco dust. It 
it said edible disco dust in fluorescent neon colors. So I have that coming as well, but they have not gotten here yet. So we're gonna try these. We're gonna try the markers and we're gonna try to make some tie dye. I love tie dye, but um, I'm also going to be making some uh, Jeep because my roommate, or not my roommate, well, my roommate does have a Jeep, but my friend who I'm making these for, she is a Jeep girl and so I'm gonna be making the Jeep to put on top of it. So without further ado, let's get this party started. wrap it up for these cupcakes and this video i am so super stoked for this uv light food coloring these things are absolutely phenomenal again i will put the links for these i actually spilled a little 
Um, I will put the link for these down in the description box. Again, they are a little pricey, but if you have a black light party, I wanted to try it in the frosting. I did taste a little bit of the frosting. It doesn't alter the taste flavor. I haven't gotten sick. I haven't felt anything. So they're good to go in your frosting. I can imagine the fondant, like if you put it in with fondant, or if even if you like did splatters, like if you mix it with some vodka and like splattered it on a cake, a black light on it would be amazing. And yeah, so I am really super happy with this purchase. You guys will probably be seeing a whole bunch of neon. <laughs> you guys are gonna be seeing a whole bunch of neon stuff, but that's okay. So for that, I mean, I, recommend these if you want neon the tie-dye patterns came out good which was your favorite did you like the powdered food coloring neon tie-dyes better or did you like the marker tie-dye um i actually like the neon tie-dye with the powder i feel like it looks i don't know it's a little bit more even though like the markers a bit more bolder i feel like the um powdered food color looks more authentic if that makes any kind of crazy sense. So yeah, I'm super stoked with these. I know she is going to absolutely love them. I'm so super excited to give these to her. So I hope you again, uh, hope you again, hope you again like this video. Remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. All the links will be down in the description box for the powdered food coloring. And I will see you guys in my next video. And remember to always be kind because you don't know what kind of battle someone's going through. So don't be a dick. All right, guys. I love you so, so much. And I'll see you soon. Bye.